People said that hiring an office linebacker was a gimmick, a cheap publicity stunt. But with Terry Tate's proven motivational techniques, our productivity is up another 46% for the year. That's not to say that I play favorites in the Felcher family. So when I received Paul's complaint. Cut the cheese? I, I'm lactose intolerant. Terry Tate assaulted me. That's just not right. My hands were tied. I had to follow employee handbook policy. So we brought in Geneva Stover, a human resource consultant with Sanchez Steamer and Company, to run a workshop on office sensitivity. <laughs> Oh, interesting. The first rule of sensitivity is that every human has a personal bubble. Anyone observed in non-compliance will receive one of these. A badge of shame. Any questions? You're fired. Sensitivity training? <laughs> so bring it on! I'm an equal opportunity hitting machine, baby. All day, every day. Believe that. Mr. Tate. It was obvious we had an E11 situation with Mr. Tate. I had no choice but to ask him to turn in his jersey and reassign him to a desk job. Special bubble? This woman can't come up my house and tell Triple T that he has trouble with the special bubble? Look, man, playing out of position, that ain't Terry's game. You can take the fish out the sea, but you ain't ever gonna take the linebacker out of me. Believe that. This is Roger. Hey, Bigger than ever. <laughs> hey, you Bigger Flicker. I was about to call you, man. I'll be hanging. Yeah, just call me Butter, baby. I'm on the road. <laughs> well, I'm open to refining the paradigm. Um. Roger, may I have your permission to initiate physical contact upon your person? Let's see. No. The new rules of engagement were affecting our bottom line. Workplace morale plummeted. Mom. And horseplay rose sharply. <laughs> and, as it turns out, like all great revolutionaries, Geneva had a fatal flaw. Hey, Pablo. Ever since Geneva's unfortunate departure, our productivity has gone back to record levels. And as I've always said, if it ain't something that's broken, then there's no need to repair it. Roger!